always serving a fresh cup of daily inspiration, Deanna Hobbs. Today's inspiration is to tell you, you will cross over into breakthrough. 2019 is going to be an exceptional year for you. I'm speaking that over your life. God has amazing things in store. So don't be intimidated by what you see. Even if your circumstances are not in alignment with the promises of God yet, they must come into agreement with his word. So continue to trust God and know that everything he has for you, you will receive it, declare by faith, this is my year of breakthrough. Welcome to this year, Tuesday, January 1st, 2019, New Year's Day edition of your Daily Cup of Inspiration podcast. Happy New Year, Daily Cup family. We are so excited here in the studio. Some of the team members are sleepy. <laughs> from being up late, worshiping, bringing in the new year, but we would not be any other place. You are our family, and I had to greet you today. Make sure you log on to EmpoweringEverydayWomen.com. I have written a New Year's letter to you, just what God placed on my heart to share with you for 2019. If it's your first time listening, my name is Deanna Hobbs. I'm founder of Empowering Everyday Women Ministries, a 501c3 nonprofit organization that distributes free resources all around the world to help you grow in your faith and become every single thing God has destined you to be. I'm bringing you big smiles, hugs, and warm greetings live from Empowering Everyday Women Ministry Studios. That is located right here in the city of Buffalo, New York. It is currently 38 degrees in the Queen City. Every single podcast you hear, it's available for you as a free resource. Stream and download it on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher.com, your daily cup of inspiration.com, player.fm on my YouTube channel channel under my name, Deanna Hobbs, D-I-A-N-N-A-H-O-B-B-S. Click that red subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and every time a podcast is uploaded, you will be among the first to know. Join me on Twitter at Team Deanna Hobbs, Facebook at Deanna.Hobbs, and Instagram at I am Deanna Hobbs. Let's jump into this specially prepared word for the first day of the new year, but first a prayer. God, thank you for allowing us to make it to see 2019. You didn't have to bless us and we are tremendously grateful for your kindness toward us. Speak to our hearts, bless the person that you've inspired to press play, that they will be strengthened, motivated, and inspired to believe you for even greater in 2019. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. Amen. So this morning, Daily Cup family, the Lord reminded me of something that happened to me some years back. I've shared it here before and I feel led to share it again. I was in college at the time and I had to go to the financial aid office because my financial aid had not come through and it was the last day for tuition to be paid before I got kicked out of my classes. When I first started that semester, I was excited. I had received my award letter saying that I had been approved to receive financial assistance because I came from a family of meager means. So I was in the tuition assistance program called TAP and I was also one of the recipients of the Pell Grant. So when I approached the service desk to find out why my money hadn't been released. I explained, I have all my paperwork here. It tells me the amount I'm getting, but the money hasn't come through and I have to pay for my courses today. So the woman behind the desk took my paperwork, started typing on the computer, and then she said, I'm sorry, there's nothing showing up here and there's nothing we can do about that. I was on the verge of tears. Under my breath, I started begging God to intervene, Daily Cut family. And after a few brief moments, which felt like an eternity, by the way, she said, oh, wait a minute. It. She starts tapping frantically at the computer keys. It's showing up. It just popped up on the screen just now. It's all here. That's incredible. She turned the screen around on that little swivel base so it would face me. All the resources I had been promised were sitting right there in my school account. Man, I wanted to run down the hall screaming, but I just let out a relieved, oh, thank you, God. And later that evening, I went to church. I testified about God doing Doing just what I needed him to do in the nick of time. Just before I walked away, manifestation showed up. The process was stressful, but hey, I made it through. It wasn't quite a sweatless victory, meaning it wasn't an easy process. My blood pressure probably shot way up that day. Things didn't go smoothly. It felt like surely I would lose, but God had ordered my steps, but God had favored me, but God was leading me along the path of victory, even though it didn't look like 
like it. And that's what I want you to get on this New Year's Day. Don't be discouraged by what you see or don't see happening. You have already crossed over into a new year and you will inevitably cross over into your breakthrough. Cling to your faith and the evidence will follow. God led me this morning to Exodus chapter 14. To briefly summarize this familiar chapter, it takes us inside Israel's journey to total freedom after 430 years of oppression. They were under Pharaoh's Egyptian regime and God sent Moses to deliver Israel, but Pharaoh was so stubborn and non-compliant. So God had to send plagues to inflict pain and suffering on the Egyptians to display his power and force Pharaoh to let the Israelites go. And after the 10th and final plague that Yahweh sent, where all the firstborn male children and animals in Egypt died, he'd finally had enough by then. Pharaoh had dealt with it when God turned the water into blood. He dealt with the frogs, the lice, the flies, the livestock dying, the boils, the hail, the locusts, the darkness. But the firstborn deaths equaled the straw that broke the camel's back. So here we have it the great escape. But then Exodus 14 and 8 in the King James Version says this, and he pursued after the children of Israel and the children of Israel went out with an high hand. Now that word high is the Hebrew word rum. It's spelled R-U-M, which means to be exalted, to rise or to raise. So in this context, it means that they raised their fists as a symbol of might, power and defiance. They marched out of Egypt on cloud nine, fist raised in the air, feeling unstoppable. Oh, but then something happened. Pharaoh's hardened heart drove him to chase Israel. As you know, God made the water stand up in a heap, oh glory to his name, on the right and the left side. And the Hebrews crossed over on dry land, but Pharaoh and his army drowned in the Red Sea. And the very enemy that's after you is going to drown. Don't you be afraid. Don't you be weary. Don't be discouraged by what you see. March forward into this year with confidence in God. Satan already hit you with his best shots in 2018 and it didn't work. You crossed over anyway. You're still standing anyway because God is with you. You got hit with financial challenges, but you still crossed over. You dealt with emotional turmoil, but you still crossed over. You faced relationship struggles, but you still crossed over. You were attacked in your health, but you still crossed over. Your employment situation wasn't ideal but you still crossed over. Perhaps you were met with some challenges in your business, but hey, you still crossed over. God allowed some doors to close, some people to walk away, and some storms to rise to show you that through it all, his power is still greater than what's coming against you. No matter what the storm is, you will cross over into breakthrough. Do you remember Mark 4 and 35 through 41 when Jesus told his disciples, let's go over to the other side of the lake? A storm arose. Matthew 4.24 describes that storm in Greek as sismos megas. Sismos means shaking, commotion, a tempest, an earthquake. And megas means big. So it was like a big, violent earthquake. It came and shook them up, both literally and figuratively. Nevertheless, this sismos megas, this violent earthquake type storm, was no match for the power of the one who was on board. After the disciples woke Jesus up from his good old nap, Jesus spoke to the storm and said in Mark 4 39, peace be still. And instantly the Bible says a great calm came over the waters. I'm here to tell you that God is going to calm some storms in your life in 2019. There is not a single challenge great enough to overtake and defeat the one who is for you, the one who said you'll cross over, the one who fights your battles for you, the one who redeemed you from sin, the one who rescued your life from destruction, the one who heals you of all manner of diseases, the one who is a very present help in the time of trouble. I think I've gotten excited in this studio. Satan is no match for God. So you can be confident that just as you have already crossed over, despite some opposition, you will continue to cross over into new territory. This year, I want you to do something. When things appear too hard, too hectic, too troubling, too worrisome, too stressful, and 
far too intimidating for you to beat the odds? Recall the words of Jesus found in Matthew 19 and 26 in the New King James Version, which is what I'm stirring into your New Year's Day cup of inspiration. Jesus said, with men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. As you drink down the contents of your cup, celebrate the fact that you've already crossed over into your new year, as well as the fact that you're about to cross over into a new season, a new season of blessing, a new season of favor, a new season of increase. Don't let the storm steal your hope. Don't let the enemy chasing you down make you lower your fist. Stay confident. Stay defiant. Keep confessing the promises of God and know this, without a doubt, you are crossing over into breakthrough. Now let's pray. God, I pray for this, my sister, this, my brother. Thank you that they have crossed over into a new year. And right now, I rebuke the hand of Satan that has come against them. Please remind them that no matter what comes against them, because you have ordained that they win, that they prosper, that they be blessed, and that they see your promises come to pass, the weapon formed against them shall not prosper. We give you glory for all the great things that will happen to them going forward. And we believe by faith that this will be their best year yet. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Cup of Inspiration podcast has been brought to you by Empowering Everyday Women Ministries, where we help fuel your faith every day. For more information, log on to www.deannahobbs.com.